Brian and Brian, 35 of 39. Zach was the only Brian who was not awash in melted ice cream. See, he asked Mary, if you'd been smart like me, you would have gotten a cup rather than a cone. Smart, eh? Pretty sure the word you're looking for is gluttonous. Three scoops? Three! I blame you, my love. You put the idea of rum raisin in my head, and then you ordered key lime, and when Brian got chocolate fudge, I just had to follow suit. I'm pretty sure we would have let you have some of ours if you'd asked. What? And be one of those fathers who takes food out of the mouths of his wife and child? Blasphemous. No, no, it's fine. You eat your drippy dribbles and lick your sticky wrists, and I'll sip my sloppy soup. Fortunately, I planned ahead and ate quickly. Which is why you got an ice cream headache. The wages of sin. It's a sad story, but somehow I'll carry on. What you say, Bri? Good ice cream or what? Uh Uh-huh, Brian answered, licking his fingers. I think all you've left with is the cone, my love, Mary said, shaking her head at the amount of chocolate drizzle that covered her son. We really need to clean you up, she added. Why don't you just hop in the ocean? Easy peasy. We should have taken a shirt off before he ate the ice cream, she declared with a sigh. It's just covered. Take me in with it on. Either way, it'll have to be washed, but at least for now we can get the gloppy off. The voice of reason. Brian, when did Papa become the voice of reason? I sticky, Brian said, looking at his hands. We know, love, Mary replied. We'll go get cleaned up. Me, the voice of reason. God forbid, <laughs> Zach said with a laugh. If I'm the voice of reason, then the handbasket to hell is an express flight. You want me to help you slip out of your wrap? Mary turned her head to the side and looked at her husband from the corner of her eyes. Ha! Zach bought that too, but I meant for you to get in the ocean. You're a big Kotiro, and you managed not to get any key lime on your red wrap. Aren't you coming with? No, think I'll sit tight. Wouldn't hurt my feelings if you took the long way home. Let me catch a couple winks. We can probably do that. Okay, you may undress me with more than just your eyes, but the bikini stays on. Spoil sport, Zach said with a grin as he lifted Mary's wrap from the bottom up and then licked her cheek. There was a spot of key lime there, he said with a wink.